the newborn stage is over, and now we have our new challenges. I gotta hurry, I gotta hurry. I got the baby monitor in my pocket and the baby has just gone down for a nap. Got the boys working on some schoolwork and listening out for him. And I've got to quickly get these animals hayed before the baby gets up. Babies on the homestead. Lots of work, but we can do it. Silly cows are napping in the morning and the goats are waiting for fresh hay and Titus is waiting for fresh scratches. <gasps> What's that? What's that big belly? Just gotta get in and get out, right? Right big guy. You been playing in the mud? Have you been playing in the muddy nose? So we have been opening this gate and letting the cows and the goats come out and forage all this pasture here. They call this the cow pasture and that the goat pasture um, because ideally that's what it'll turn into. We've got the temporary electric net fence going all the way around the tree line um, and last night way back in the corner one of the sections came down so I could not let them out today and they had to stay in. The ducks are molting again. We still are not getting any eggs from them. Don't know why. They are a little bit older. I think I probably need to hatch out some eggs this year. Our chickens have knocked over their water again. They are not laying either. So we have not had eggs and I'm getting pretty sad about it. With the gorgeous warm weather we've had, because even though it's rained every night, it has been sunny and warm during the day, the last couple of days, the bees are so happy. They're doing very well. Most days, I try to wait till that first morning nap of the babies to come out and do the hay. That's pretty much all I gotta do in the morning. So while he's laying down, I try to run out and do the hay. Some mornings he comes with me because he's not taking a nap or what have you. And then a lot of these nice days we all come out and play. The boys come out with me and I lay out a blanket for the baby to play on. He doesn't stay on the blanket anymore. He crawls all over the yard eating leaves and twigs just like a goat. And he enjoys it thoroughly. But, because we had so much rain, the ground is really wet, so that wasn't really an option today. Even though it's warm t-shirt weather, he would get soaking through if he crawled on the ground today, unfortunately. But let's go see how the quail are. Our quail house has turned out to work perfectly. The quail are nice and protected in here from the elements and they still get some good sunlight in here coming through the sides. So they're also doing really well. But unfortunately, they're not laying eggs either. They're taking a little winter break right now. We actually had to buy store-bought eggs because I haven't been able to meet anybody locally yet that sells eggs. That would have been my first choice, but I don't get out much. <laughs> and I don't meet new people very often. So hopefully soon, 
we'll have eggs again. This is about the time of year that our chickens start laying again after their winter break. So we're crossing our fingers. We will have lots of eggs soon and we will even start incubating once we have our fill of eggs and we're back into being happy full bellies. We're gonna throw a good batch into the incubator and hatch out some quail, some ducks, and some chickens. So I'm really looking forward to hatching season. The garden is pretty much the same as it was the last time. The one bed of garlic is all we have in the ground. I sure do miss having a winter garden where I can harvest greens and roots all winter long, but by next year we will definitely have that going again and I cannot wait. I can't wait to see this whole area bright with green new growth in the spring. We are super excited to start sowing seeds. We're not planting outside yet, but we are going to begin planting our seeds in here. I've gone through most of my seeds by now and sorted and arranged them by category. I will be doing that one more time before I'm officially into the sowing season, but boy is it hard when you have so many seeds. One of those things that we worked on this weekend besides sorting the seeds was getting the seed shelf ready. So we have heating mats, grow lights on two shelves. And then once they have germinated and they're doing okay temperature wise and they don't need the heat mats anymore, we can then transfer them up to the top shelf because we have solar coming from the roof. Then as they get bigger and bigger, hopefully we'll be moving them out to a sheltered location as we transition them off. One really cool thing that I am able to do this year is I became an affiliate with Mary's Heirloom Seed. I have been promoting Mary's Seed for over a year now because of the quality and the service that she provides. It's above and beyond um, pretty much any other seed company out there. And luckily she invited me to join her affiliate program. And so now I have my own link that you guys can use to shop for your Mary's Heirloom Seed. It doesn't change the price of the seeds for you, but it does help me out just a little bit. So if you want to use that, I'll be leaving it in the description down below. Oh yeah, baby. Black gold. This is some wonderful compost that we were able to get because we participate in the composting program that Ryan works for. So we turn in our compost and we get a certain percent back to finished compost. Love it. So excited to add this to our new beds. Something else I've been spending a lot of time with through the winter is, I don't know if you can see, but I've got all these beautiful plants in the house all of my house plants I've kind of gone overboard I've been propagating a lot of them and I'm hoping that I can start sharing them with other people we'll be sharing a lot of vegetable seeds with some families we were doing the food box program through the summer where we were handing out hundreds and hundreds of food boxes to people and we're looking to adopt some families to help get them started growing their own veggies and we're going to provide the seeds and the information and the guidance and mentorship as long as they are willing to provide the labor. So if you know anybody who lives in the Carrollton, Georgia area, have them reach out to me via email, wholesomerootsblog at gmail.com. The goats are fat and sassy. We've got this bar across here to keep the cow from going in and messing it up. The cow uses the other side as a lean-to shelter. We do have plans to make a pallet house over on the cow pasture for the cows, but for right now, the lean-to is working just fine. We've had a really nice mild weather for the most part. A little bit too much rain, but I can't complain about that because I'd rather have that than a drought. We moved here in the fall when we would normally be breeding all of our goats, and after the move, nobody really came into heat. Time is the only one that I have confirmed bred from the fall. There is one other doe that might be bred, but I'm not even positive of that. So this week, for some reason, all of my does have been coming into heat. So we have now bred um, Kitty, Hearts, Fancy, and Shady. The ones that have been with us for a long time. 
Um, so that's pretty awesome. We are not breeding our most senior doe, Ruby. She is being retired. She probably could go another round, but her body condition isn't good enough to be rebred anyway. So we're going to continue to fatten her up and uh, hope that she can live a nice long retirement with us. For those of you that have been with us for a long time, you've probably noticed our reduced herd. Getting ready for a move meant we had to reduce a lot. We are actually down to only 10 goats now. Can you believe it? I, I honestly cannot believe it. I don't remember the last time I only had 10 goats. But with adding in two cows and moving to a new property, I felt like this is a great place for us to be. I feel like I'm really comfortable where we are. We're gonna have some new kids coming along. I might choose a couple of does out of those that I liked and can see potential for and we'll, we may keep them. But we also um, wanna kind of focus on what we're doing and the garden and the cows are gonna be some pretty hefty projects for us. Um, the garden being new, we're gonna have to see what kind of battles that we have to face having a garden on this property. In a new property, you never know what kind of pests you're gonna have, what kind of weeds are gonna be around. We don't know what the deer presence is gonna be. We just really don't know. So we're hoping to get a good handle on the garden in this location this year and start lots of new projects, some new birds that we're going to be hatching, and that's pretty much going to keep us busy, I think, with a new baby. I mean, he's eight months old now, guys, but that's actually when it starts to get a little harder because he can crawl, he can get around, he can get into things. So the newborn stage is over, and now we have our new challenges. So it's going to be an interesting ride. Make sure you check out our Facebook group and our Facebook page. We have lots of information we share there. You can contact us there to answer any of your questions and we'd be happy to help you. Also, if you haven't checked out our wish list in a while, go ahead and check that out. I was just reminded that I even had a wish list when we had a wonderful subscriber purchase a couple of things from there just this week. It filled my heart with joy. All right, guys go back in and hopefully be able to finish a cup of coffee before the baby gets up. Rowan, everything okay? Yep. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>